What are the underserved and in-demand POD niches moving into 2024 and beyond that will make the most amount of money in the quickest time possible? There's actually a ton if you just look, but wait, isn't print on demand too saturated? If you're looking to sell mama bear t-shirts like everyone else and their grandma with an iPad, then perhaps maybe POD is a little bit saturated in that area. However, there are a ton of wide open opportunities in print on demand that I see every single day. So let's jump into my computer and take a look at them. In this video, I'm going to be showing you them using Gelato's print on demand catalog, and you can try it out for free and get 50% off your first order within the first three days using the link in my description. The first wide open opportunity that I see with print on demand right now is print on demand embroidery bags. Gelato offers one right here. You can check that out. I want to show you over here on Etsy that right now, this is what I see. This is not a clear winner for this front page. When you type in embroidered bag, there's not a clear trend happening. There's all different types of bags here and designs. So what does that tell us? That tells us that if you come in with a unique enough design and a unique enough spin on things, then you can come out a clear winner. It, a, a clear sign of saturation that I see when parent on demand trends get too saturated is you come to the front page of, of a given keyword phrase and it it's just everybody selling the same one that that the, or the same version of it, all different types of shops, etc. But on this page, embroidered bag, and there's lots of other phrases that you can use for it. There's not a clear trend. And that's a very, very good thing for you as a print on demand seller, because you can come in with a unique spin on it and dominate. Another thing to note here is that with embroidered bag, there's only 124,000 results. And combine that with the fact that there's not a lot of clear trends here on this front page, that means there is a lot of opportunity. I would definitely start selling embroidered tote bags if that is something you want to incorporate into your store. Let's just double check with the best sellers. So I'm going to come over here to the star seller filter, hit that. Then I'm going to go up to the address bar and change star to best. And we get a little secret bestseller glimpse. So there's only a thousand results there, which is another very good thing. And what I'm seeing here at first glance, first impression, again, not a lot of clear trend, not a lot of people copying each other, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which is really good sign for opportunistic print on demand niches. As you can see here, Gelato does have embroidery on their tote, which is actually uh, semi rare right now in the print on demand space. Not a lot of companies doing that. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Let's move on to the next niche. The next one I want to talk about is custom birthday shirts, but with two spins added to it. This is the opportunity that I see and that I see continuing for a long time. So that is custom birthday shirts. Okay. That's fine. With 188 results, that 188,000 results, that is a lot, but it's still an opportunity. However, if we kind of move on from there and do custom birthday shirts for kids, the results goes much further down. And then what I would do is add on a second twist to it and do organic shirts because organic cotton and you know clean fabric on your body that is a rising trend a lot of people are moving away from polyester etc for health reasons and a lot of people are looking into cotton etc so that's another trend that you can combine it with so you take the custom birthday shirt trend you add it for kids that filters it down then you add organic with it and then now you have a nice little combination of an opportunity and this is what gelato offers here for organic kids crewnecks right here check that out so the next trend i want to talk about is custom photo shirts and the twist that i'm adding to this is kind of an a reverse engineering of the whole saturated trend situation so with this situation i see a ton of people just piling on this trend of like these like 90s retro style graphic tees um, and I, I don't know what happened here. Like there must've been like 25 YouTubers like promoting or, or suggesting how to make these shirts. I don't know, but everybody is just piling on copying each other. These are all different stores, uh, on here. So that is saturated. So in this situation, when there is a saturation, if you come in with a secondary 
twist that is a fresh, you know, look at things, then you have a lot of opportunity. First thing that I do not see on this page are watercolor portraits. Watercolor portraits are huge. It's already a proven product, but mostly you can find them on canvas and posters. Those are everywhere. However, I don't see them on shirts. Another, you know, right here, this, the face shirts, those were huge a couple of years ago. I remember the first store with the custom face socks with that Labrador on it. That was huge. Everybody piled on on that one. And that's essentially, uh, very, very saturated. I would not pile onto that unless you have a store with a lot of momentum moving already. So seeing this page with 44,000 results on custom photo shirt, I would take a fresh twist. Then of course, add the organic twist as well. One thing I find interesting about gelato is that they have a pricing plan above like a paid version. A lot of POD companies offer a paid version that gives you a discount. Okay. That's awesome. And it works for a lot of people and, it, and it's a good thing on gelato. They have a secondary and a third above that. And with the gold membership, you get 50% off the shipping and 30% off branded labels and packaging inserts. So that, that, for me, that puts it a cut above the rest for the products that make sense for me. I would definitely check into this because you don't really have to be processing a whole lot of orders for the one nineteen a month to make sense. Again, you can check out Gelato via the link in my description and get 50% off your first order within three days. I hope the methodology that I'm kind of showing you here in this video makes a lot of sense to you because with the satur with any saturated niche, whether we're talking about print on demand or not, there's always extra opportunity. And when you add or stack even new angles to it, it almost helps you because if there's an existing trend that everybody's doing and it's saturated, but you come in to that space that has a lot of demand. It, remember with saturation comes a lot of demand. So if it's saturated, that means there's a lot of demand. And if you can get a piece of that pie, you're doing much better. That's why I'm never afraid of competition when I'm researching keywords on different research tools. But moving on from there, if you come in with a new angle or stacked angles on a saturated situation, whether it's POD or not, that adds fuel to the fire because people come to the page, whether it's the search result page or whatever, looking for that in-demand product but then they see a new twist on it and that can really boost your conversion rate and the desirability of the product because they might already know about the product when they see it or when they search for it, they know what they're looking for. They might be looking for, for example, these like 90s retro custom photo shirts. They might be looking for that exactly. But if you come in with a twist like, hey, it's organic cotton, um, then that's going to add a conversion rate factor that will definitely give you a leg up on your competition. So definitely when you're researching niches, whether you're print on demand or not, think about the angles that you can add to it that will give you an advantage. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely go ahead and check out Gelato via the link in my description and have yourself a beautiful day.